Over the weekend, Tesla began rolling out a new full self-driving beta software update, 10.5, to the company's fleet of vehicles. Hello to all viewers and welcome back to Auto Exploits. If you are new here, subscribe so you don't miss our timely updates on anything concerning the Tesla company and Elon Musk. A look at the release notes reveals that it includes some intriguing new features, which you can read about further down. Tesla is currently slowly rolling out what it is calling full self-driving beta, which is an early version of its self-driving software that is currently being tested by a fleet of Tesla owners who have been selected by the company based on their safety test score and by the company itself. The software allows the vehicle to drive itself to a destination that has been programmed into the navigation system, but the driver must remain vigilant and ready to take over at any time if necessary. Due to the fact that the driver, rather than the system, bears the primary responsibility, despite the name, it is still considered a level 2 driver assist system. When it comes to driving capabilities, some updates have seen regressions, so it's been a bit of a two steps forward, one step back type of program. In recent updates, the automaker has provided additional information about the changes to driving behaviors that were previously mentioned in the release notes. This is true once again in the case of a new update, 10.5, that Tesla began distributing to owners in the beta program in the United States who have a safety score of 98 or higher. The following are the changes made in version 10.5 according to Tesla's release notes. Because of improved quality in our auto labeling, we were able to reduce the crossing velocity error for pedestrians, bicyclists, and motorcycles by 20%. By introducing a new static world auto labeler and adding over 165,000 auto labeled videos to the database, we improved static world predictions, road lines, edges, and lane connectivity by up to 13%. By increasing the generalized static object network with more than 30,000 video clips and adjusting oversampling and overweighting strategies, the researchers were able to improve cone and sign detections by 4.5% in precision and 10.4% in recall. In order to reduce the number of false delays, the cut-in detection network was improved by 5.5%. In shadow mode, the emergency collision avoidance maneuvering feature has been enabled. It enables drivers to change lanes away from merging traffic when it is safe to do so. Using multimodal object prediction at intersections, we were able to improve the recall of merge object detection. Improved control over merges by increasing the smoothness of arrival time constraints and taking into account possible merging objects that are beyond the visibility of the merging objects. Improved lane changes by allowing a greater deceleration limit in situations where there is a short time limit. Lateral control is improved in order to creep forward in order to gain more visibility. Improvements in the modeling of road boundaries on high curvature roads will allow for more precise maneuvering. Increased logical reasoning in order to stay on course and avoid unnecessary detours and rerouting. Interestingly, when quantifiable, Tesla provides actual data as well as a percentage improvement in certain capabilities. Some noteworthy points include Tesla increasing static world detection by up to 13% by deploying a new auto labeling system that uses 165,000 new videos, which is one of the most significant advancements in the industry. In order to create clean data for Tesla's machine learning systems, the company has relied heavily on a large team of thousands of labelers, who literally review videos and mark what is visible in order to create clean data. While developing technology to automatically label content for machine learning, the automaker is also believed to have deployed a new one that assisted in the training of this new FSD version 10.5. The addition of emergency collision avoidance maneuvering in shadow mode was another feature that drew the attention of a number of people. According to the information provided, Tesla is enhancing the vehicle's ability to perform some more critical emergency maneuvers to avoid accidents, which previously had more limitations due to Tesla restricting harsh steering maneuvers in its driver assist systems. It is currently in shadow mode, which means the vehicles will not actually perform any maneuvers, but they will look for opportunities to do so based on real-world scenarios and send data to Tesla in order for them and other vehicles to see how they would react. During the next few weeks, 
This new full self-driving Beta 10.5 software is expected to be tested before Tesla releases a new version of the software, which will hopefully allow more owners who paid for the software to have access to it. The deployment of the fleet has progressed much more slowly than CEO Elon Musk had anticipated. To remain updated, don't forget to subscribe. See you in our next video.